Well, I mean, if Willie Gibson keeps getting free kicks in the edge of the box, it'll be easy, won't it? Well, uh, there's also another fantastic free kick, you know, it's, um, he's got that in his locker and he's on a wee bit of a roll now, so he'll take one of them every week, you know, so, I mean, the, the, the conditions were atrocious, you know, and they didn't allow us really to play football, and that's for both teams, you know, so sometimes you see the wind like that, it's, it's very difficult, but, and we actually never really adapted as well as I'd like with the wind at our back first half, we actually were better second half into the wind, so sometimes that's the case, and, uh, as I say, it was a hard battle, because I thought we can did play well first half, you know, made it difficult for us and it was nice just to get that goal just on half time, which is always a good time to get a goal and obviously difficult for them to concede at that, at that late stage. It gives a wee lift, as I always said before, if you get goals, it gives you, it gets you a lead, gets you a wee bit of confidence and, and to be fair, I thought we defended well in the second half and uh, apart from a couple of set pieces, there was nothing really troubled us too bad, I thought we defended well throughout the game. Um, as I say, since Camby's come in, he's been a good lucky time, two clean sheets, so long may that continue. Uh, and, he, and he kicks the ball well, as you can see in the strong wind, so it does make a difference. But um, no, overall, as I say, we're pleased because the most important thing is winning winning games. And, and nice. Another clean sheet and another three points is, uh, as I say, all we can ask for. And I think that's four, four wins out of five in the league? Yeah, so which, I mean, it's decent. There'll be a blip in between, which was against Peter Head, obviously. That, you can don't, don't talk about it, I mean, we'll, we'll no, I get to about it. it. But, I mean, that was always the danger because obviously the highs of the Celtic game. Yeah. I, 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 I drummed into them all week, but sometimes it's it, there's something difficult to shake that off. And then it was obviously a poor performance against Peter Ed, but albeit I think they came down and did very well. But as I say, that's all past now, and as I say, we're four, four wins, so long may that continue. And hopefully, we can we can look forward to the Tuesday game. And we've got there to Alban Overs, and I'll say our away form has been very good, so let's see, hopefully, we can continue that one. And a win on Tuesday night, and you're, you're right back in that pack at the top because I think you're, you're four points off the playoffs now. And on a win on Tuesday, and you, you know, I think you'd be just a point off it. Yeah, I mean, I, I've said before, we're not going to get too carried away, we're just looking at one game at a time. I said the same, and obviously, we were not going to be bad run, you know, but it was a we should be playing with a bit of confidence now, we've added a bit of strength to it, you know, and uh, sort of a bit of quality as well. Um, as I say, we'll just take it game by game, we'll just look at one game again, we'll look at Albin Rovers and concentrate on that, and hopefully we can go up there and, and put on a good performance and, and win the game, and, and then whatever that takes us, it takes us. And there's so much competition in the, in the team, I mean, Aaron Sterling came back in and he looked sharp last week and, and again this week and Mark McGuigan's thinking well, Yeah, have to do I mean Big Mark has been probably unfortunate Sam McCluskey because I thought the two of them were excellent before that you know so um, they've just got to keep battling away and, and work hard to try and get back in as, as anybody else does you know and if any players are, are slacking off then there's players there chapping at the door so that's just the way it is in, at any level of football so it'll be the same here you know so uh, no as I say we've got quality albeit we might there's one or two going to be leaving off and we might be down a wee bit in numbers but I mean, we've got young boys like Kyle Turner and some of the younger ones who so just certainly can come in and, and help us, you know, so uh, that's, that's maybe an opportunity for them as well. And, and getting the win at home, I mean, you've spoken about home form this season, getting a win here, it just puts a spring in everyone's step, doesn't it? Uh, so you always, I mean, it's always nice as a manager, you always want to win your own games, you know, so and uh, it's been, there's no really right in the reasons I say for it, that we've been good away from home and, and a bit inconsistent at home, but hopefully that's us, I mean, we, we beat United here and Obviously, we'll be breaking, so hope that's us going to manage to win home and away now. Is that very nice? Yeah, I agree. Very nice. Are you still looking to strengthen? Well, as I say, there may be one or two going out that might allow us to maybe bring another one or one of these people to the accountant and see. Maybe one in, maybe one in, if one or two go out, you know. But as I show you, things can change quickly. You lose it. I mean, there's Ryan Thompson gets injured. Well, I was going to ask you. know, then all of a sudden, if you are running with a lighter squad and you get a couple of injuries in it, it can take its toll. And that's certainly what we don't want to do, especially if we're on a decent run of form now. Yeah. You used the term battle. Do you think it was a case of where both teams are in the league winning the battle today? I think so. I said that was very important before the game. You know, I wouldn't care how how we win the game as long as we win it. You know, but when you you go and see the conditions out there. I think Barcelona, Real Madrid would have found it tough to play, and, and that, and that's no, no disrespect, you know. So, because really strong, strong wins at Bobley Park, you know. I think sometimes we, we played some not bad stuff at Adelaide Breakin, so that's never always an ideal situation. All we need would be the, the, the rain and the snow to come, but it never, it never came for us enough. But it was difficult, but as I say, it was in conditions like that, you just got to win the battles and, and hopefully take your chances, and we did. And, and maybe we could have scored one or two others, you know, that was a couple of defenders that I need to see Andy Stone on again. If, I just wondered why he would get down if he was by the, the goalkeeper, but 
Aye. You know, so yeah. I, I didn't. I as didn't. I say, we won't be worry about it too much now because yeah. we managed to score a couple of goals. But as I say, the most important thing, obviously, clean sheet and, and uh, the three points. And Willie Gibson scores that free kick. And obviously, it goes two 0 Does that take a, 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 a weight off your shoulders? That that uh, second goal should be the, the killer one. It does. It does help. You know, I mean, I, I, no, I, I thought it was nothing. I thought it was reasonably comfortable because I don't think they really did any great, great chances. It was just going to be maybe a mistake yeah. or a lack of concentration. But as I say, overall, I thought we defended well today. So, but it's always nice to get that wee cushion, you know, and it'd be an even nicer big uh, Lucho scores there. He's going to keep putting in those big heavy legs. He never puts it in in time, and it's a good, good save and tackle. But uh, no, uh, actually, we, were, we got the free kick, and I was probably going to take Willie Gibson off just before that. But Big Mark was ready, and then once we got the free kick, I said, so just put a wee one up. I joked with Mark, I said, uh, no disrespect, but Willie's probably Sticks more likely to goal score here than you, and he went, oh, I agree, I agree, and, and, and uh, it worked out that way, so we're delighted we did. Yeah, I thought we started the game well, considering in the strong wind. Um, wanted to win the toss, but obviously lost it, but I, th I thought we started the game well, and there wasn't that many chances, although the strong wind behind us, and we're camped in, going into that wind. I don't think um, we had that many chances first half. We got a good couple of good blocks in there and they did put us under pressure and we just unfortunate a minute before half time we lose a goal. Good bit of play by Willie Gibson, good save and I think Sterling reacts quick to the rebound. Um, second half was that strong one behind us. From our point of view we didn't want the goal enough. I think the keeper had one save to make the whole game, especially the second 45 and you got you know, if a hurricane behind us it was disappointing from our point of view. Say that, that first goal right on half time, that must be a real sickener. Yeah, we knew it was going to be tough going into that, that strong win in the first half, and we knew if we could keep it tight, we'd have, have a big advantage in the second half. And we nearly got there, it was a minute before half time, it was just a good play, and we should be a quicker match in the 1 2, but and he scored. And, but we, we still felt with that strong win, strong advantage, we camped them in there, and we, we camped them in there for long spells, but we said we didn't get good quality balls in, and we, we didn't want the goal enough. Is that the most disappointing thing for yourself that, like you say, just didn't really test the goalkeeper? Anymore? Yeah, because I think second half, um, the keeper didn't have much to do, our goal didn't have much to do. Um, Billy Obson, great free kick. He done the same thing last week as well. Yeah. I said, just the feeling when I give any free kicks away when he's about. But, um, but that's the point. For, for ourselves going forward, the final third, it was really disappointing today. We, we didn't, didn't want the goal. We, we know we get chances with the wind and hit a shot from 30 yards with that one behind you. Anything can happen. We, we didn't show it. We kept taking the wrong option, which is disappointing. Is it doubly frustrating just how the league table is that you, you knew a win today there would be a massive boost yep. off the ball? Yeah, yep. we, we knew that. We've been in that position before, but um, we need to sink in now. There's 15 games to go, so we, we know we need points, so we just got to pick ourselves up and um, go again for Stennis Moore on Tuesday. You're not far away in games with all the things, results and performances from what I can see and, and I've read, so you must have encouragement there. Yep, yep. there's spirit there and they work hard, just decision making at times. and. If, if we can get a few in before the window shuts or whatever on Monday night, then we'll hopefully do that and strengthen it in areas where we're, we are weak. We, we do need a goal threat. We are short since Isaac Lane went back, we are short there, but if we can get somebody in there to help help our front too, then I think they're in, in strengthen our position wide play positions, then I think we can have a real goal in the last 15 games. I think you probably take some inspiration from Sarrar, because after beating them in December at Cleve Park, they've won four out of five. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's the thing, thing as well, you know. Um, we got ourselves on the bottom and we beat Stranraer and they went on a great run. After that, that's, um, that's, that's what we need to do. Um, we, we seem to get a win and then next week we get beat and then the team we just beat just jumps above us again. But, but we know that we have to string results together. Let's get into that time of the season. 15 games to go. I think we've got um, 8 at home. But um, we, need to, we need to start getting 3 points. There's a league like that, we probably won't know that. If you get a couple of wins, it does seem to make a big difference. Yeah, yeah. I think I think if um, all of a sudden if you get two back win, wins back to back, then all of a sudden you pull the team maybe third bottom back in amongst it and stuff. And I think that's what you have. You have to get back to back wins. And you have to get three points.